ready for war, Germany warns Russia aiming to provoke Ukraine with troops. Fears of open war in Europe have surged after the German defense minister warned Russia is seeking to provoke Ukraine by massing troops along its border. Over the past few weeks tens of thousands of Russian soldiers have amassed along Ukraine's eastern border and in Crimea, which Russia seized from Ukraine in 2014. Fighting has also intensified in eastern Ukraine between pro-Russian separatists and government forces which heavy shelling reported. Pro-Russian elements declared the Donetsk and Luhansk People's Republics as independent states in 2014, though they remain unrecognized by any country. Ukraine and Western powers have long alleged regular Russian troops have been assisting the separatists in the fighting. Speaking to ARD public television Annegret Kramp-Karrenbauer, the German defense minister, accused Russia of trying everything to provoke a reaction from Ukraine. She claimed Moscow is just waiting for a move, so to speak, from NATO, to have a pretext to continue its actions. Ms. Kramp-Karrenbauer praised Ukraine for its sober reaction to the Russian buildup and warned Russia NATO won't be sucked into its game. The minister added, if it is a maneuver like the Russian side says, there are international procedures through which one can create transparency and trust. On Wednesday NATO urged Russia to stop its unjustified military buildup around Ukraine. Jen Stolenberg, NATO's secretary general, accused Moscow of the largest massing of Russian troops since the 2014 invasion of Crimea. Whilst Ukraine is not a NATO member it is a close ally of the bloc. The United States has urged Russia to de-escalate with President Joe Biden calling Vladimir Putin personally to discuss the situation. In a statement the White House said, the president voiced our concerns over the sudden Russian military buildup in occupied Crimea and on Ukraine's borders and called on Russia to de-escalate tensions. The U.S. is moving warships into the Black Sea despite warning from Russia, which is urging them not to approach Crimea. Russia invaded Crimea in 2014 after pro-Russian President Viktor Yanukovych was removed during the Euromaidan revolution. Hundreds of thousands of Ukrainians gathered in Kiev demanding closer relations with Europe and an end to corruption. Over 100 people were killed in clashes between protesters and security forces before Mr. Yanukovych fled to Russia. The invasion of Crimea was followed by uprising in Russian-speaking eastern Ukraine, which Kiev claims Russia helped orchestrate. More than 13,000 have been killed and many more forced to leave their homes since the conflict began. Over the past couple of years fighting has been largely sporadic and at a much lower intensity than seen in 2014-15.